I'm Nathan Smith, the Digital Programming Coordinator for the Central Arkansas Library System. In just a moment, I'm going to jump in right where I left off on our last video. If you missed that last episode, click or tap here to check it out before you watch this one. Otherwise, you might be a bit lost. You can also find a link for the previous video in the description down below. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, the Enter key is the next key I want to show you. It's usually on the right-hand side of your keyboard, next to the apostrophe, and it does a couple of very important things. For one, when you're typing something with more than one line or paragraph, you can move to the next line by pressing Enter. On typewriters, this was called the return key, and Apple computers still call it that. The Enter key is also kind of a yes or go key in many situations. If I type my email address and password into these blanks, I could move my hand over to the mouse to click the OK button, but I typically don't. Instead, I just type my password, then press Enter, and I'm in. A couple rows above Enter is an extremely important key, Backspace. The Backspace key allows you to get rid of things you typed by mistake or text you just don't want anymore. For instance, if I'm typing my name and I accidentally type Nathan, all I need to do is tap the Backspace key once. It moves my cursor, the little blinking line, to the left and removes the M from the end of my name so I can fix my mistake. If I want to delete a lot of stuff, I can press backspace a bunch of times or I can just hold it until I only have the text I need. Another nice way to make changes to your text is by using the arrow keys. When I'm typing something, the arrow keys will allow me to move the cursor around and make changes in the middle of text that's already there. In this sentence, I've written, Peter Piper packed a pock of pickled peppers, which is close, but I meant to put picked instead of packed and peck instead of pock. To fix the first mistake, I'll hold down the left arrow key, which will move my cursor to the left. When I get in front of this A, I'll hit backspace to remove it and put an I in there instead. I'm going to use a different key to fix my second mistake, the delete key. The delete key is right here, and I'll use my arrow keys again, but this time I'm putting my cursor to the left of the O I want to replace. Delete works just like backspace, but in reverse. When I press delete, the O disappears and everything else moves a little to the left. Now I can put an E in its place. Another key that's sometimes used in writing is tab. Tab usually sits just to the left of the Q. And if you're writing something, it usually creates an indentation. They used to tell us in school to indent like this at the beginning of a paragraph, but just so you know, that's not necessary for most writing nowadays. The tab key also allows you to move between blanks or questions when you're filling out forms or choosing options on your computer. This way, you don't need to switch to the mouse to go from one blank to the next. The last key I want to show you for this series is the escape key. Usually it just says ESC, but that's short for escape. If the enter key is the go or yes key, escape is usually the stop or no or cancel key. If I'm watching a full screen video on my computer, I can get out of this full screen view by pressing escape. There are other keys on the keyboard, but since there are so many, I have focused on the most important ones for these videos. Some of the ones we haven't talked about aren't very interesting, and some of them just aren't that useful until you've had a lot more keyboard practice. If you can get comfortable with the keys I've shown you in these two videos, you'll do very well. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll be talking about how to use a computer mouse. See you soon.